Hello and welcome everyone to Cybercast episode 272, the Transforming the Action Figure podcast show for adults. Uh, we got a quite a bit of San Diego Comic-Con, I guess, uh, that they kind of did online. Uh, so I didn't do all the action figures. I just kind of did what, you know, we we collect. We collect our Marvel Legends and, you know, selects. We collect Star Wars, Transformers, uh, NECA, McFarlane, DC. Hot yeah. Toys, G.I. Joe, we got that on there. We got one Power Ranger, which picture is like this big. Uh, but we're going to we're gonna take a look at it. So, And uh, we were going to have a topic for last week we didn't get into. Uh, we're not going to get into it uh, this week just because there's just the three of us and everyone else was like, no, I want to talk about this. So the next show, we're going to talk about the joy of online shopping and exclusives and things selling out in four seconds and then going into stores and uh do you have this and they're like i don't speak japanese i don't know what you're saying so uh we're gonna get all into that on the next show so we do have that as a big topic and we'll probably spend quite a bit of time talking about that so uh because some pretty pretty strong opinion people on the show so anyways uh let's get into introductions uh sport Kick us off, man. I am Sportimus here on YouTube and Sportimus Prime on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Rick. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Shattered Glass Jazz. And you can find me, G1 Extron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook pages, the G1 Extron. So uh, we're not going to get into a Mount Rushmore just because we have plenty of stuff to look at today. Uh, we are going to do our figure of the week. Uh, say what's up uh, to some people in here. Toy Mafia, what's up? Angry Mike, thanks for joining us. Uh, he said his figure of the week is Scorponok. Uh, we got Randy Books and Legionardo. Legionardo, are 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 you Leonard on Instagram? Let me let me know if that's you or not. So, because uh, that's that's who I figured it was, but you could be two, di di you know, totally different people. So, all right, uh, what's your what's your figure, Sport? Uh... I found this at a store. Amazing. It's the Blue Ranger. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Blue Ranger. So finally. Yep. Is that an exclusive? No, this is it may as well be though, but it's the, not. The I main mean, everything, like, everything's exclusive now. Yeah, pretty much. The, or, <laughs> the original Rangers just it takes a while to get them yeah. into everybody's hands. Yeah. Like some people haven't found the yellow ranger. She's been out for two and a half, three months. Right. So they're highly, highly sought after, I would say. Oh, they are. Yeah. Mike, oh. Mike wants you to open it. No, I'm not going to open it right now. Sorry, Mike. Uh, Randy Book said the uh, Luke and Yoda for me this week. Lucky. Good job. The Luke and Yoda. Is that no, the Dagobah two pack? Yeah. I got yeah. it on, on pre order. So, dude, I, I'm still waiting for uh, BBTS to get my the GI Joes in, man. Oh, I got, I, I'm sitting here looking at Rick. He's been posting for like two months his pictures of G.I. Joe's. I'm like, bro, bro, <laughs> ship, the, him, ship him. I got the second wave on my Instagram and Twitter right now. I mean, I I'm, got, still, uh, I'm still waiting on wave one. Uh, yeah, I, got, here. I, I, got, uh, I got the Duke from, I had ordered a few from BBTS, so I have some extra, like nice minty ones. And I got those this past week. So you should be getting them. They're sending them out now. I hope so. Mike said he's getting the new Joe's tonight. The targets Joe's are awesome. awesome. So I guess figure of the week. Yeah, I mean, I got the GI Joe's. I might talk about them a little bit more on the next show. But um, the bigger thing that I got this week that I finally paid off was in-game Thanos by Hot Toys. I've been waiting for this one. And um, I had him on a flex pay because I live the flex pay life. But anyway, I got him. So he'll be going up on the shelf soon. Nice. God, man, I hate going after Rick, man. I'm not, I, I'm going to have to change it up. You sit here like, like, yo, hey, look at like this. And then, and then Rick's like, yeah, so this is like giant Hot Toys figure or like it's like some long Ecto 1, 1 6. I'm like, and then here I come behind them. I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, a couple of people in the chat. Uh, Legionaro says, uh, bro, you know I'm not going to know how to say that. Uh, Zaomi Prime for me this week. It's a Lego Technic one. 
Uh, we got action figure expert joins us as well. And yeah, Mike says, uh, yeah, the target where I am said I can get them at 9 p.m. tonight. All right, Mike, hook me up. Get me some troopers. Yeah. I need th I I need one of each of them, and then I need three of the Cobra Troopers. We'll yeah, see. hook us up. Uh, Buy everything. I'll hook you up tonight. <laughs> I was if it got here. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to uh, shout out uh, Leonard on uh, Instagram. Uh, I, I looked. At, he doesn't. He hasn't posted anything, but I uh, wanted to give him a thank you. The Luke Skywalker. Jedi Master or whatever that I was looking for, you know, and I couldn't find and uh, never showed up at my Walmart. It was an exclusive and people were asking like $80, $90 for it. Uh, he's just like, yo, I got this. I bought it on clearance and you want it? I'll send it to you. And so he, he, he sent it to me. I'm like, dude, like, you know, let, let, let me send you money for this. And he was like, no, nah, man, just, you know, let me send it. So, uh, if it would have got here, that would have definitely been my figure of the week just because that's something yeah. I've been hunting down and I definitely appreciate it. So I wanted to tell him, thank you. Um, but I guess I'll go with this cause I've been looking for these guys too. And I got some of the other ones. So I, I thought the, I got the Casey and foot soldier, but I thought the April and foot soldier was supposed to be out as well. They are. How'd you find that? I can't find it anywhere. So I got the metal head and then they, they had uh three of these. I, I mean, I can go back to target tomorrow. If you still need metal head and Casey and foot soldier. Yeah. I'm going to go tonight. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Uh, but I thought they were supposed to have an April and foot soldier come out at the same time as well. And also, is it a slash and leather head? Yeah. So they didn't have the April and the slash and leather head one. They still so. had that. Yeah. It's a good set. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, start screen sharing some stuff with this button. We'll click. And all right, guys, don't freak out. I know you see the little saw blade going up there, but a lot of these only have like one picture per tab. I wanted to make sure. We got it. <laughs> all right. Because I know you're looking up there and like, oh, Jesus, this is going to be a four hour show. It's not. So. Uh, Mike said, Brett's uh, figure of the week is Scorponok. Of course. But he left the Scorponok to go out with his wife. So, hmm. All right. So the Transformers Generations, uh, these Walmart exclusives, is that right? Or some of them? Yeah, this, this one. Yeah. One of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bumblebee, Walmart exclusive. That's a great idea. Sold out. I wasn't able to get one. Same here. Yeah. The only thing I was able to get was the Alita one and then the two packs off Amazon. So, so this one right here, I was able to get it. Yeah. Were you guys able to snag any? I got the Amazon packs. That's about it. The only way I got all the things was when the page loaded, I put one of everything and just bought the whole page with no pictures. Just wow. bought everything. We'll, then we'll, later, I went we'll back and canceled it. the ones I didn't want later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, kid? Uh, yeah, I, I, sh I probably should have done that, but I was just waiting for them, you know, all, all to show up. So the I pictures, yeah. I mean, people need the pictures to tell what they are. And, and I'm pretty sure you like this one. I mean, that's. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep, yeah, little gas station grease pit. He's awesome. I like that you. I just like that you can merge them with the other ones. Like I put him and Ironworks together, so I could make myself um, a little like ratchet gas station along ninety five South. <laughs> so <laughs> this one is one of the Amazon uh, two packs. So I was able to uh, secure that. I yeah. guess thrust is just going to come by himself. Yeah. yeah. Or thrust. I mean, they just yeah. should have made it just a three pack, to be honest. Yep, I agree. I mean, they did Amazon stuff before. Yeah, the Amazon stuff isn't too bad. Like, the, the, you got to dig for the links, or like, just have a round robin with all your friends. Like, anyone got a link? That's kind of how we've been doing it. And uh, I was able to secure this two pack as well. Actually, I like that Ironhide. Me too. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. cool. 
this is that that G one love for sure. This mm -hmm. line is. And I like the prow except for one thing, and you already know what it is. Clip yep. on wheels. Yep. <laughs> God, you know what I was thinking? Uh, this is such a simple little thing. Is if a third party company just took like like made like different color like little caps that you could just plug on over them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That way it would just be solid right there. Now that would that should be very inexpensive to make, and you just make a, a bunch of them like different colors, or you know you can just <laughs> order, order them in bulk. And dude, I'd buy them. But otherwise, uh, looks good. As long as they as long as they don't interfere with the spinning. Like I've got some sanding right. tools now, now that I've bought some non F product. I've used the sanding tools that Dalton recommended, and now I can make any wheels that are sticking. Those little sanding tools are good, but they would be good for something like that, where if you put a cap on, you can put that sander to it, make sure they still spin. I haven't ordered the exhaust yet. Mm. Debating, like, do, do I really need them? Oh, or? I, you, you need that. He's a slick. He's. I think he's better looking than Wheeljack. Uh, his car mode is just so slick, and his bot mode's cool. I, I definitely like him better than I did Wheeljack. Then uh, this is cool. So I canceled one of my Quintessons. That way I could just pre-order this. This is going to be a Hasbro Pulse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it, the five is it or six pack or something. Yeah. yeah Did so you see that list, that September list of everything that's going up, I guess, on the same day? It's gigantic, that list. It's this and like 30 other items, probably 15 of which we collect. Star yeah. Wars has got a lot too, but these do look good. I like the colors and stuff. So this is what's cool. Like I, I could have done without the shark to con to be honest, cause I didn't even collect any of those other ones uh, when they came out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that'd be cool if they reissued them, you know, since now you're coming out with everything, but mainly this dude here and yeah, just mainly this dude, to be honest. Yeah. You know, like, okay, and this guy's kind of a different color, so I guess he'll be the leader of those guards or whatever, but mainly just to get him is why I ordered yeah. this. Yeah. Or, or am going to whenever it goes out. Now I feel like I need to buy a bunch of little shark tacons. They're fun. Yeah, I like those. And that's package kind of is cool. cool too. Yeah. Yeah. Package is nice. Yeah. I wish I had the willpower not to open, but got to open. <laughs> I don't have that willpower. <laughs> yeah. Pre ordered a uh, little hub here. Yep. Uh, just a uh, vehicle mode. I like the way the uh, the bug turned out. And you even got the Volkswagen uh, mm -hmm. emblems here. Yeah, looks really good. <laughs> it's like a masterpiece, man. <laughs> or you know, poor man's masterpiece. You know, it's still still get it officially licensed and stuff like yeah. that. It's like, all right, I'll just keep her in robot mode. Should be fine. Hey, what's up, Maddie the Dentist? Says, evening guys. Uh, I keep saying that it seems like new stuff is coming out like every week. Yeah, yeah dude, it's, 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 it's getting it's crazy. Fun. Yeah. I think if you're collecting G.I. Joe, Transformers, and Turtles, those three things, He-Man hadn't start hadn't heated up yet, but it will later probably. But those three lines, if you're collecting all three, you're busy. It's like a side job now. Oh, <laughs> you, yeah, you add in Marvel Legends. Wait, yeah, yeah. Star Wars, Marvel Legends, Transformers, GI it's, Joes. It's a lot. And then, uh, were are you collecting this? All the neck, all the different versions of the the three different versions of the neck and turtles and the Super Sevens? Because I'm doing that. I know I'm not. And Thundercats I'm, is about to hit yeah. too. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm doing the Nicotune and the Super Seven toy turtles. 
Now, uh, what's all different with this Optimus? Someone told me it was a different head. They're putting a dead head on it. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't kept up with the Netflix. What's different on the Netflix figures other than it's I'm Netflix? Like, yeah, I'm like, what's what's different th with this one? The one that you sold me think, last month It looks the same. Isn't the it is the windshield different too? Yeah, it's a different shade of color. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm not dropping another fifty dollars or whatever it is for the same figure. Oh, he comes with a uh, whatever. Yeah, the golden like, pterodactyl yeah. axe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't need all that. I don't know if he comes with the trailer though. I don't think so. So it might be like yeah. I don't think forty dollar. Might be a forty dollar. Yeah, I, I think he's a wasn't he twenty nine ninety nine? I can't remember. That well, day was a blur. If he's coming with that weapon, it's probably forty bucks. Uh, Legion artist says uh, just no trailer and different paint. Uh, uh, and, and and this sucker, he sold out twice. Wasn't able to get him. I definitely want him. Some nice colors on that laser beak. Yeah. Uh -huh. Little, little, little chubby ravage there. <laughs> you can find these in the store too. I hope, right? Eventually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, it's Walmart, so you can be able to find them in stores in like twenty twenty three or something like that. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you'll find this one. You might if you get there when they first put put them out. He'll probably go because people know who he is. Yeah, you know, cassette man. <clears throat> that cleaned up pretty good. Uh, dig it. That's yeah, what I was waiting good. on. I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't buy that other sound way where they were like, "Yeah, look, it's some kind of spaceship." I'm like, "The dropship." Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> see that. All right, well, we already uh, we already looked at these. Those are your you know, your two packs. Mm -hmm. And you also had this. Everybody got this, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, my favorite was like Dakota. He was like, like ah, you guys didn't get it. You know, your GI Joes. You didn't get your your Star Wars and stuff. And he's making fun of us. And then he's like, all I care about is this. And then to see that he didn't get it. <laughs> Yeah, he, he was like upset about it. Hurts, huh? Yeah. <laughs> is, is Mike still in here? Still, I can't see the chat. Well, uh, Mike, Mike, are you still in here? Mike, you getting some lead foots tonight too, or just Joe's? If it's just Joe's, I'm good. If you do see lead foot and there's an extra one after Dakota, I'll take one. Dude, get the one. Get the one that Dakota's wanting. Get salt no, I, I can't take that away from him. That's his. He loves that. <laughs> that might be his spirit animal, Leadfoot. <clears throat> Jesus, that thing is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, and then uh, you got your uh, Transformers Top Gun. Hey. Uh, oh. Rick, you see it? Oh, I know, I know. I, you I can love put that. Your little, can you put with well, your little masterpiece, guys? Oh, uh, yeah, Mike's in here. He says Dakota can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that, Mike? He said, uh, Cameron, Mike said, uh, put them down for three of these. I mean, interesting idea. I wonder if uh, Toy Toy Hacks will do a Sky Striker uh, sticker set for this, or a Jet Fire. Yeah. I love Top Gun. I can't wait for the new movie. I love Transformers. I don't need this. I'm just not a big fan of the crossover stuff. It just doesn't appeal to me. And it's, it's, I guess the colors are just too plain to me. It definitely needs some stickering or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cameron is here. So I used to dream about pop culture crossover transformers. Too bad Hasbro is terrible at them. 
I'm sure the Top Gun folks probably told them they couldn't do a whole lot to the vehicle because look at the head, which obviously is not in the movie, but the jet is in the movie. So I bet there were a lot of stipulations. That would be my guess. I mean, they tried to add some stuff with, you know, the Maverick on there, the volleyball, the little motorcycle. Uh, I mean, it was like they were listening to you, listening to you, Rick, where they're like, oh, man, this dude. The volleyball thing. I did bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, he loves little men riding The little men on the motorcycle is nice. Action figure expert says uh, it would be stupid not to repaint this into a Sky Striker. And who was it that was interested in this? Was it Dalton? Someone was. Yeah, the, vo- the volleyball's name is Win- uh, Wilson. Wilson. Uh, different movie, but okay. <laughs> uh, I thought it, I thought it was. Yeah, Mike says it was Dalton. So, yeah, there you go. There you go, D. I'm just, I just can't get into the trans, no transforms. Might have been my. Yeah, like when they start doing like stakeout. If they did like stakeout Minerva, like some of those like characters, Circuit Breaker from the comics. They do like some obscure stuff mixed in. They probably will bring me in a little bit, but I just can't see like doing this line deep like we do the other stuff. It doesn't transform. I mean, I get it. I know what it is. I get it, but but somewhere there's like action master fans. Yeah, like, this right. is what I've been waiting on. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. I would I would probably buy the jazz. That's a main line one that I would buy. Uh, this is a little. The, this one's great because they're like, yo, here's the uh, the Walmart exclusive. Here's your stock images of what it's gonna look like. It's like, well, we know what it's gonna look like. It's been out <laughs> since 1986. So right, I got I've got at least two of those. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, little heads up, guys. Uh, I don't know if it's at every Walmart, but at my Walmart, the Astro Trains. Our clearance down to twenty five dollars. I'd buy that for twenty five. I just bought one. Not for fifty though. That's crazy. They're forty, but yeah. <laughs> Mike said, yeah. "Bro, I just bought a San Diego Comic Con blaster with all the tapes for fifty dollars from Pete this weekend." <laughs> but this one doesn't come with the tapes, though. This is just blaster. Yeah. So. How, how long do you think it'll take until, like, I forget which button it is, before it gets jammed down where it won't open anymore? <laughs> They're pretty notorious for that. Yeah. So, I mean, nothing we haven't seen before. Not bad. Oh, it is Leonard. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I said earlier when we were doing our figure of the week, I was like, if we would have gotten here, here you know, I would have said that one, but uh, did uh, thank you on there. So I definitely appreciate it, man. Uh, so let's see. I was going to see, like, where's the price on this? That's what you need to know is, like, what what's the price on them? Because what what were those uh, Astro Trains at first? I mean, now they're, they're $25. They're 40 bucks. That's way too much. That's way yeah. too much, man. What do you think they're going to come out with this thing at a, at a price at? Isn't it? I think it's on the website, but I can't remember because I didn't get it. Uh, I don't know. All right. So Takara doing another masterpiece like Convoy. Yay. I mean, it was bound to happen. So uh, Mike and Dalton saying 30. What are you saying? 50. No, 30. it's not 50. I think it's about 30, 35. Also oh, some uh, some differences here. So they're they're already improving up on it. Uh, 
I imagine he's probably just going to come by himself like the MP10 B, right? Yeah. It's just a mimic. just a figure, no trailer. Makes sense. Oh yeah, so probably no electronics. Yeah. Oh, man. So definitely a lot a lot cheaper. I wonder Wonder how much more cheaper. So an alternate head, uh, energy axe, beam weapon, blaster. All right. That's nice to know that they, you know, cleaning up on some of their mistakes, which I personally think that they should have figured this stuff out before they released this one, you know, because then they're just going to release it again and fix those things probably. That looks like it's just removing the button where the electronics, you know, where you hit it for electronics. Uh, like, uh, so you think Peter Cullen it, voice and the Japanese voice. So since it probably won't have electronics and they didn't have to do yeah. that, what you're thinking? Uh, yeah. All right. But the, the back of the knee was a problem for a lot of people. I didn't have the problem, but some people did. So if they clean that up, that's that's awesome. Uh, Maddie's saying uh, 220 from Hobby Link Japan. Not bad. I don't know why these pictures are so small, but uh, three zero deluxe exclusives. Uh, your your Blitzwing, shattered glass. Mm. If somebody bought me that, that would be amazing. Dalton, getting the shattered glass one. Go ahead and put Dalton down for one of the shattered glass. <laughs> I wouldn't purchase Act it, but I would happily accept it as a gift. <laughs> Actually, put, put Dalton down for two of these shattered glass, and he's going to birthday one to, to Rick. There you go. There you go, Rick. Wait to see that. <laughs> Such a nice guy. Uh, Dalton said, uh, don't worry, Rick. He got you. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, and also three zero uh that are war for Cybertron, uh Megatron. I'm looking at this and I'm like, these don't transform and I'm looking at it and it ain't a whole lot far off from what you're already getting from Hasbro. That does transform. It, I, I do find it funny that it doesn't transform, but they still go through the motions of putting the back kibble. On the back. Yeah, right. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't transform. Here's your opportunity to clean it up as best as possible. They're they like, <laughs> no, nah, they, the people, they want to see the tank trades. They have to match the, um, the Netflix show that comes on next week. I think it comes on next week. Soon. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, they showed a clip of it it's on some panel. I saw a clip of it today. <clears throat> uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Flame Toys. Also licensed by Hasbro as well. There's no telling who this can be because they have that weird design where it's hard to figure out. Jet fire, <laughs> maybe. You know, see those two <clears throat> things sticking up through the back. There you go for uh, for Mike and uh, Dakota. Yeah, I, I, I saw that littered. And so I think it's weird that uh, UPS, or not even, not UPS, but US Mail, they deliver stuff at 8 p.m. on a Saturday. That's strange. They're, they're still behind. I don't know how it is everywhere else, but I know here they're behind by about two days 
what normally it would be. <clears throat> Dude, I uh, I uh, notified to ship my pile of loot last Friday. It just shipped last night. <laughs> well, yeah, that's crazy, yeah. huh? I know. BBTS, <laughs> you yeah, get your week. stuff, but you gotta wait. Yeah, they yeah. Yeah. they have pretty good customer service and all that, but man, they're shipping. You gotta be a patient man. Yeah. I've had it take two weeks before. Same here, yeah. The camera says Dalton actually added something to his list without Josh's input. (laughs) 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 Dalton says, Cameron, I'm getting one Prime or one Leo Prime. (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead and put them down for... uh... God, I I forgot his name. Porcupine cat. Yeah, well, I know it's Porcupine. Star Saber and Victory Leo. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and put them down for this, too. There's that Megatron. I, I know, uh, I would, you know what? I would like to see a, a Stealth Bomber Megatron make Me it back, in, Mac, make it back into the lineup and do, uh, what is it? Not Deluxe, but Leader Class. That'd be cool. I like that deluxe one we got years back. It's too bad it was so small. Yeah, that's the one I didn't get it. That's why, because I was like, well, this is weird that Megatron's this little small dude, you know? Yeah. I wish if G.I. Joe gets bigger and it's popular and people are buying all these figures, I'd love to see like Megatron turn into the Night Raven and the Seekers turn into Rattlers. I mean, I would. that's like something that I would be into. Dude, look at this big old line head shield. You can put uh, Dakota and Dalton down for one of these two. Some nice paint on them. I mean, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the designs of them. <laughs> Oh, that's Rod. I was like, "What? What jet is this?" And it's like, "No, it's Rodimus." <laughs> I didn't realize there were this many of these things. There's translucent, so Dalton will take one of those. Oh, ones. guaranteed, yeah. Yeah, you can put Dalton down for he'll army build those suckers. Yeah. Uh, we already looked at that. Uh here's just some uh, good small company. So non transform, but little chibi robots. I like transformers. I like little chibi stuff. You'd think I'd want this, but that's gonna be a pass. It's gonna be a pass, boys. Oh, it's the movie movie design. Well, at least there's some stuff that I'm not buying. That's yeah, the silver lining. Same here. Yeah. But I see more and more of this every year, actually. On on almost every panel or what I've watched this week, I saw some. And the little uh. Metal Fig, Jada Toys. These are pretty easy pass for me as well. Yeah. I know they're G1 and all, but like, I don't even know where I'd even put something. Like, I, It's just something that it's like, yeah, I, I, I don't need that. I don't know. The, the, these things are just kind of obscure things to me. Like, I, I maybe they'll be valuable to someone like way down the line. You know how some of the stuff, you know, that was just like not really mainline toys, but it was kind of like, 
weird stuff. Some of the stuff, some of the stuff that, you know, Brit gets, you know, that it's like, oh, that looks so, we, you know, we look at it now and we're like, oh, that's so cool. I didn't even realize they made that because uh, it was just kind of like kind of out there in middle field or in left field, you know. And then uh, back then we were like, no, nah, man, that's dumb. But today you're like, that's cool. You think something like this will end up being like that, you know, 30 years later? I don't know. But, uh, because I can tell you that know. most people aren't going to buy this. Yeah, I have no interest in that. Uh, getting into some third party uh, fan toys. Fans toys. It's a weird image, but <laughs> make sure you got a good shot of his crotch there. <laughs> you gotta get that crotch shot. <laughs> oh, God, man. God, man, put some underwear on or something, man. Underwear. <laughs> <laughs> You guys buy the fans' toys? You getting this? I cherry pick. I cherry pick too, yeah. This isn't on my list of things I need currently. If they made an official one, all over it. But yeah. third party, I don't know if I need it. All the little doors open and stuff. I've been big on buying anything that's from the animated movie, you know, and fans' toys. They've given me that, but... Cara, I need a favor. We only got a few days left until my <laughs> my masterpiece Galvatron prediction is expired. Unless Cameron gives me another year extension, which I obviously yeah. won't turn down. Cara has been quiet lately. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So see. It would have came, would have been announced by now, but it's the COVID that's put them behind. Yeah. So I should automatically get an extension because that. Yes. You know, just yeah. Just like, just like DMV is given. I agree. You should get that extension. Yeah, I should get the extension, Cameron. So I'll let you decide. Uh, Mechanic Studios, uh, designed by. They're going to be made by Doctor Wu. Get yourself. Uh, what is it? The last night. Or whatever, little little guy, yes. motorcycle. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the last movie, the worst movie. Yeah, it's 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 so bad, man. It's so bad. It does turn into a little motorcycle, and I'm pretty sure you could put a little GI Joe on there. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little size. Uh, Cameron, you've already had three or four extensions. I don't see any harm, but another one. <laughs> What's one more, right? <laughs> when, when, when did I start saying, guys, it's on the it's, way? It's been years. Dude, it must have been like, like around like MP11 or 12. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, and you know, same same thing here. Uh, microscope. That's, is that his name? Scalpel, maybe. Yeah, scalpel. Yeah. He was creepy. It's which movie? He's in Dark of the Moon. No, which one's it? Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah, that the one he's in. He's only in one, right? Yeah. They 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 all run together. Uh, well, yeah. the last night stands out because it's so terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. The Revenge of the Fallen is the writer strike one. That one had issues. The writer strike happened in the middle of that. I think. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think Revenge of the Fallen was very good either. All right, and Shockwave Lab add-ons, you know. People like people like their add-ons. Camera says, "I think Dark of the Moon. I think it was working with Megatron's damaged head, but I don't know for sure." Mm -hmm. uh, 
so your jet fire can have a little little blade. That's that's probably something I don't need. Yeah, I don't need that one. Sometimes I like the add-ons. I didn't even realize that uh, he had a little energy sword or whatever. Is that, is that something that's like real? Or yeah. they're just like, oh, here's a good spot to put this for some reason. I don't remember it, but maybe mm -hmm. it's something that happens in the Siege Netflix thing. Because he's definitely, he's definitely in that. Seen the clip with him flying around. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, since last time, uh, did did some more stretch goals. They're adding some new stuff. Uh, one thing that you know, so you get the damage hand and head. Uh, I think that's getting this head, and then you're also getting uh, an extra tentacle they just announced today. And you're also getting another figure, a, a female version. Yeah. Something on Prime, female. So, so uh, I don't know why. I thought it was $250. So I was, went in there and I was about to go ahead and back it. And then I was, no, this thing's $350. And I'm just like, yep. I don't think I don't think I want to do it for three fifty, man. What's the what's the deadline on that? You you guys remember? August twenty something. Yeah, it's tw like yeah. the middle to end of August. Yeah. So. All right, getting into some Marvel Legends. Uh, any of the movie stuff? I I just don't do the movie stuff. So. This the it is cool though that you can go uh old version or you know the young version on both of them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna do these or not. I gotta decide, I guess. Uh are they all, ex are they all exclusive? Uh these these are at on pulse right now. Okay. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw them. I mean that looks pretty spot on. Uh I mean, sport. You're the Star Trek guy, so. <laughs> no, I don't know. Who's, Just who's doing these again? These are Marvel Legends. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I just the the movie stuff is always just like you. It seems like you just go a little overboard with the outfits. The only yeah. true outfit. That like looked awesome to me was Silox. You know, because I was <laughs> I was like, yo, that's that's the way Silox supposed to look, you know. Yeah. Right. She had the but least material. Night <laughs> Nightcrawler looked good, you know. Yeah, he looked pretty good. Yeah. So I'm, I saw also that like these haven't sold out yet either. So I'm wondering if a lot of people are, are kind of thinking like me, like, well, I don't really need the movie stuff or uh, is it just because like there's going to be more stock of these? These aren't going to be exclusives. It's definitely like a, a moment in time thing because, I mean, it's not like they're going to make more with these same actors or whatnot. Right. And like me, I want the I want the cartoon looking stuff, you know. And comic book stuff. Yeah. 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 That stuff's always better. Although it is crazy how far they've come. If you look back at what we were getting like during what the nineties or early two thousands. Yeah, I mean I could look at that and tell that that's huge jack jack yeah. you know. Oh, 
okay, that's. I wonder how deep they go. I wonder if they'll make all of them. Now here's some stuff that'll make you mad. Well, mm. these, these they they were up, I believe. I didn't want these again. Yeah. You know, they're movie stuff, whatever. I'm getting Hello, the, what's up? Especially like the cable. Yeah, so Delirium says, uh, I'm going to save my money on these, I think. Got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I, I... Now this. I'm getting that. Yeah. This is a get. This is going to be Hasbro Pulse. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what, what's the other head? Oh, you get the Jean Grey. And who is this one? It's supposed to be Celine. Okay. It's but these are supposed to be like the you know the original Sebastian Shaw, Celine, Emma, oh. and Donald Pierce, I think. So like the, which which head are you you gonna go with? The the one with the like hair up that reminds me of what I was reading during that timeline, like in the comic. Mm. So I've been reading. I, I I've been reading since I was nine, but I also backtracked as soon as I started collecting comics. I started reading at giant size X Men, but I've read everything before it in other formats. But this was this was a pretty good time. I mean, the Hellfire Club stuff, the storylines were really good. Yeah, and this was in the uh, X Men cartoon as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's why I want to pick it up. And then uh, I believe – I can't remember if this uh, was available or not on Amazon. I think I was able to pre-order this it on is, Amazon. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm not going to turn down another Psylocke. <laughs> I love her. Um, Nimrod. Yeah, I want, I want the Nimrod. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, was it? Fentomax. Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't even remember who that is. So. He's a fairly new character. He hasn't been around. Oh, okay. Long. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why she so like, why, why are you getting all conservative and stuff like that? Why, why are you all <laughs> dressed up? <laughs> Nimrod, there is one. Uh, there is one of the ones that become part of uh, Bastion from the Haslab Sentinel. Yeah, that sounds right. And Nimrod himself has been around since I was in high school. Yeah, I mean, you're basically buying this for Nimrod, but then it's like, all right, Psylocke, cool. And then the other guy, yeah, yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever, yeah. New paint job on him. I feel like I've seen, we've seen this jacket before. I think this is a repaint of him. I think they released him before. It's been a few years. Was this jacket on multiple men? Mm, I don't know. Unless I have him sitting in front of me. I got a lot of figures. I do have three of the multiple men, though. Somewhere Dude, in the that, tub. That's something I missed out on. I only ended up getting one multiple men. I never could find two more. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it is Gambit's coat. Yeah. All right, we are... Where are you? Oh, no, no. These are different. Okay. So yeah. this was a little too back from Logan. Dakota should be happy. There's a lot of legends that he, I would think, would be interested in. I know they're six inch, but it's from properties that he likes. Do 
Do you th- do you think Dakota will get these? If you if you had if you're your bet man, you had to place your bet on one or the other. Do you think? I think I think he'll get the old man Logan and maybe the Deadpool that with the um from the movie. Yeah, with the Sonic Warhead. Yeah. Check or whatever. Yeah, because they both look pretty faithful to the movie. Rock scale though. Yeah, the Rock scale is the, right. Uh, you know, they missed the boat on uh making a three pack with this and X twenty three, you know, from the movie. Yeah, they might come out with her separate, you know. The that's Domino. true. She could she could come with Caliban. I mean, if the others do well and people want them, she could come with Caliban. That would be a good two pack. Yeah, it's cool that they're doing all these. I wonder if they'll do like the other guys, you know, the X, the other X Force guys, like Peter, and um, what's the other one? Uh, Shatterstar. Yeah, they can do That's the awesome. uh, what is it? The Invisible Guy, and they charge the, you twenty dollars. And it, it, all it is is it's a like a little cheap parachute, and they still charge you twenty dollars for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't see them getting the rights to do uh, Brad Pitt because I think Brad Pitt was the banisher. You get to see him when he uh, what hangs up in the li- in the power lines for like a second. Oh really? Yeah, I've only, I've only seen the movie once, so yeah. Yeah, this will be a pass for me too. Yeah, I think this one, this one, I think will do well. Because of the, the baby Hulk. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's all comic book stuff, so I don't know if people are reading or not. I read, but. I mean, this I is this is are. this is Texan Logan right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now this, yeah, this is one I wanted. Pre-orders lasted four seconds. These things are up on eBay selling for three hundred dollars or something stupid are you, like are that. Are you serious? Yeah, it, it was look. something like let's. Well, let's you said three hundred. I oh, I, yeah. I thought it was something uh, yeah. stupid like that. Uh, all right, let's let's yeah. play a game, everyone. Put in, put put in however much you think this uh, two pack is going, uh, you know, for on eBay right now. So That's crazy, two ninety nine. <laughs> it's a storm, and what's the other guy's name? Thund- uh, Thunder Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Camera said 350, Jesus. What did I tell you? $300. The first one that pulls up. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to get this, but I'm not getting it for three. I I will find it. At some point, somebody will have this. Look at this one. This one. It's $34,510. What? What? Oh, what are people doing, dude? That's you know. That's why like why big, are you big bidding, hot this, bidding this up over five hundred dollars? There's a buy it now for three hundred. <laughs> uh, dude, I do. Like, here's one for two, the cheapest one, two eighty five, right there. Why are you bidding it up five hundred and ten dollars? <laughs> I wonder so, if they've even read the old comics, like giant size X Men. I wonder if they even. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a. Uh, it's a fifty dollars set. I want it. That storm looks great. Yeah, that's classic. I, I love that storm. It's the best storm they've ever made. If that's not I, readily available. Yeah. And uh, it's a Target exclusive. And so, again, we'll get into all that stuff next episode.
<laughs> but oh yeah, stay tuned, folks. <laughs> I Jesus. Yeah. I mean that outfit. She looking nice. And it comes with like two capes, like the you know both sculpted completely. Like one's flying, one's on the oh. ground. Two oh, heads. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome. I I love this one with the cape and the hair going all over the place. Mm -hmm. Those boots that come all the way, like way up with the holes in them, they look so cool. This I'm is the best fan. storm ever, man. I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> got the got the white eyes. I mean, I mean, it's like all right, you know that's that's cool, but like yo, this is like what it's all about. Right. It's, it's like all right, that, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he's thrown in there. <laughs> yeah. He also Thunderbird died as soon as he came in, so he. <laughs> he wasn't around long, and he's one of the only uh, only characters that stays that has stayed dead. I mean, his brother is Warpath, but you know. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't believe that. So oh, all the Star one. Wars stuff, yeah, Black Series. I didn't get any of it because uh, who who was it? Was it Target? Who Walmart had, had the four Black Series. Walmart. Clone Wars. Going online and it just says action figure. Mm -hmm. No picture, no description, just action figure. And then before you could even find out what you're buying, it was already sold out, man. See, now I want this to soak and then give us the you know, the younger one, little, little Patty one is so good too. So we have all three stages of Sokus. Yeah. It, it's got to happen eventually. Uh, this one's my favorite one. Oh, from the recent Clone Wars? Yeah, I, I love that. This last season of Clone Wars. And I think the figures look really, I think the figures look so good. They look just like what I've watched. And see, I want to buy four of these as well. No army building three, but that way I can have you know at least two on each side of her. If if you can't find them, I might have one extra of this one that I can give you for for. <laughs> wow, I did I did manage to get a few of them. All right, nice. I need I'm trying to. Th I don't think I have. I don't think I got more than two of any of the other ones. I should have, but I didn't. They don't make it easy on toy collectors anymore. No, make it so very hard. hard. Uh, <laughs> good. Uh, actually, I think I, I man, I, I'd have to look in my phone that all my notes, what I have pre-ordered, yeah, what I have. I, yeah. I was, I was gonna get three of them. Uh, yeah, because you know, just to have like some mandos, you know, around so. Or you could put uh, together a uh, was it Death Watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that they'll make the other character. They're going to make the other characters too. If yeah. these do well, they'll keep making them. So I figured that these would be just you know like I'd buy three of them and they'll just be some guys and you know part of the Death Watch group. So. And then you just need one of him, so. I like that they made a, a line where, it, you know, like, it, it all goes together, you know, and it's not yeah. like, oh, this is from here and here. Like, I, I do like it going from here, here, and here, and here, but, like, yeah. it's nice to every once in a while get a line to where it's like, okay, I can kind of get at least you know a section going here should should they have done them all though so it felt like a battle in a box i mean if you had him you already got rex it would have kind of completed the storyline i wish they had put them all in there with the robot legs you know 
Oh, and get a get a mall as well. Yeah. Yeah, I wish he was in that set. I wish it was five instead of four. Uh, now here is going to be a pulse. You have to get it Hasbro pulse, and uh, it hasn't gone up for pre order yet. I believe it goes up next month. Uh, the date I've got it on my phone, but uh, Luke Leia. Yeah. Let me get them. Is Han in that one? I didn't think yeah. Han. He's in there. He's so, in that too. So you get the, the only Han. thing. Have you seen anything that shows or says they all get the ponchos? Or is, they only show Luke in the poncho on the promo pics. See, that's that's what they they all should have ponchos. I'm hoping that they will. Like when and it then, comes out. Uh, I forget his name, but he comes. Clue. With, he comes with a speeder bike. Yeah. Mm, nice. Now this one's like over the hundred dollar mark, right? Yeah, it's it's got to be. You think so? What is that? So on eBay, that translates to what six hundred on eBay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that list of stuff that goes up that day worries me because I don't know how fast I can get it all in my cart. I'm gonna have to make a priority list for sure. And then we got uh This is a Target exclusive. Uh, raise your hand if uh, you're able to get this one. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Captain Cardinal. Uh, of, of, it's obvious why Target wanted this one is their exclusive. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. We have one of these. And here's what made me really happy, uh, even though, like, this guy's exclusive. Because remember, he came in that Galaxy's uh, Galaxy. Yeah, or the three pack. Three pack or whatever. Yep. And that's when I told you, I was like, man, I don't want to pay it. Like, I don't need another Kylo Ren and another whatever. Yeah. You know, I, was yeah. like, I just want, you know, the I think it was Pry, and then I want an army build that one. No. Uh, Mountain Trooper. Mountain Trooper, yeah. Yeah, so I wanted, a, you know, three of the Mountain Trooper. I wanted the Pry guy. And then, uh, God, what's what's his Hondo. Hondo, yeah. I was like, I want the Hondo. I said, that's ridiculous that they made a sculpt. And they're like, the only way to get it is at the God. <laughs> I know. Or pack. So now I see that we're getting him individually. It makes me hope that I made a good decision and not, you know, wasted money. Yeah, I think it's cool they did that. This was the only thing that I was able to get that that morning is DJ Rex. And see, I haven't been there, but I'll, I'll pick them up, you know. I mainly want the other figures, though, to be honest. <laughs> he's, he's the one that I would want least. Exactly. That's why I was able to get him. <laughs> he was. <laughs> I know he was, he was up for at least 10 minutes because I got him. And uh, your vintage collection stuff, and that's what you wanted right here. I I do, but I, even though he this actually this item actually went back up another day this week, and I had it in my cart, and I, I could have gotten it, and I didn't because there's there's too many GI Joe things right now, and I I'm going GI Joe over Star Wars for. <gasps> yeah, I know. Rick, they're kicking me out of the club. I know. Dude, aren't you so excited about them doing another Millennium Falcon? <laughs> and this is the big boy, though. This is the one that they've never made. They only made it once. And um, it was maybe 2010. I'm taking a stab at it. Is and it is, it is so nice. Like, yeah, it's, I have it back behind this, all this stuff. It's, I don't have it displayed. But it's like the size it of is, a coffee table, huh? It's huge. Yeah, yeah. And it's the electronics and everything on it. It's really, it's definitely the best Falcon they ever made. And I had just said like last year, they were never going to make this again. I said it. I remember saying it because it's just so big. It would have to be a Hasbro pulse, but they did it. And th th did the other one have all this paint and stuff? No, this one's got, nice a, I think detail. this has a much better because the vintage collection. Now they get paint on the bottom. of like my slave one on the back has paint on the back of it. Cause it comes with a display stand. So now they're painting them better too. But this also has all the original trilogy sounds from what I understand. But then on top of that, 
It has Galaxy's Edge Smuggler's Run sounds from the ride. So I think that's a really nice, it's a cool little extra. How long doing. is it? The ride? No, no. Uh, how long? How length wise? Length wise is the show? Oh God, I don't know. It, it's you not think- as big as not as big as the barge, but bigger than an X wing. Uh, it's bigger than the Terradrome if you put it down flat because of the the two things that stick out in the in the front. It's maybe just a hair bigger than. Do you think we'll get a Haslab six inch black series? A Millennium Falcon? No. Come on, it would man. be it Come would on. be so big. <laughs> it would be re- I mean like it would be too big to display in most homes. Yeah. Yeah. Hang it, it would hang be it, it would be so big. Man. Well look at look at like um Chewy next to the Falcon. Look at that. I mean it's crazy, right? Believe me, I've thought about it, but I would have to build a new house for it. I'm not planning on doing that. I would be the size of the length of the US flag. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Yep. But yeah, I didn't think they were going to make it again. I think it's awesome that they made it again. That's really cool. This now, is about, is that, go ahead. It's about four hundred dollars. Well, yeah. it it was if you could have gotten it, or if you found yeah. it in the store sometime yeah. this month, sometime in August, I think. But I think online I saw it for like between seven and a thousand. Hey. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting eventually I'm getting a thousand plus. <laughs> Jeez. Twelve hundred bucks is yours for shipping. <laughs> wow. All right. And they're coming out with the uh Wampa again. Uh I guess by himself. I already got the Wampa, so I don't need it. Worth a buy? He's he's a little bit. He's got some different. He's different. It's different enough. I, I gotta buy him. What's different? Because they. I was trying to read. Someone was like, uh, "There's more blood or so, something there's or another." Two. Or, there's two or three things that I read were different. I didn't have a problem with the way mine looked. So yeah, well, the original well, one looked cool. Well, if it's got more blood, I'm in. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see any of that, though. <laughs> the only thing I don't like, I hate to say it because I love the vintage packaging. I think the vintage packaging should be reserved just for vintage collection. I don't remember Black Series having, I don't like that they're kind of crossing that line. I like the Black Series like the way they've been doing it. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. And you get these? No, I need. I'll get these no matter what. No matter what happens, I'll get these. Is this a se- this is a September thing, right? Uh, on that li- that giant list of stuff. Probably, uh, yeah, probably more than likely. These look amazing. I can't. I can't even believe they're making them. But they're awesome. Like if you watch the cartoon, you know that like those three are. On the upper, they're up there with like you know, they're pro- more than Commander Wolf, and Wolf's getting his figures, so his vintage yeah. collection. Those Echo guys, Pies I mean, and uh, was it Jesse? Jesse, yeah, yeah, and the the heads are all different. They they get it looks like he's got the tattoo yeah. and stuff. So it's awesome, dude. And you kind of follow them right through Clone Wars a decent amount of time. So, all right, here's your retro line. Uh, that was up at Walmart. A lot of people disappointed in these. Oh, yeah. And people want, wanted that O-ring. I did, too. I wanted that O-ring. But, I'm uh, okay with it. I, I'd like to get it. I, I like it from my kid aspect. Like, I can buy my kid some of this stuff, and he doesn't have it, and he wants it, and it's fairly cheap if you can find it in the store or get it on a pre-order. And I didn't find These weren't hard to pre-order. I do like it from that end of things. Bareness. Yeah. And I like that they kept the old card art, but I'm not crazy about the cropping, but just from a design standpoint, it's very close to the edge. And I like a nice, comfortable, you know, text on my card, not being right up next to the edge. But 
other than that, I am glad it looks like the G1 or, you know, the original G.I. Joe American Hero stuff. Now, let's see. There was one figure in particular that people uh, us all were uh, upset about, but I mean, you, you get a hiss and people were angry about all of them from what, from what I understood. I yeah, like my my kids been asking for a hiss. Here we yeah. they gave me this. Like I'm totally good. Why wouldn't I get this? Did they ever fix the turret, the guns? Uh, that I don't know if it's fixed on here, but all the old ones, um, you know, unless you buy it, perfect. Right. I just I fixed at least I've got maybe three or four of them. I fixed one of them that was drooping, but my others are okay. Yeah, I don't know what this one's gonna have on the inside of that thing. I've never opened one of the modern ones for it. Oh, okay. So this yeah. is this is what I saw some people were mad about as they were like, You got version one snake eyes oh, yeah. card art, but you put version two in the package. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> I think that's I think that's a good solid complaint. I yeah. mean, that makes sense to me. And because especially if you're a uh keep it on card collector, you know. Because yeah. like, what 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 are they going to do? Are they going to come out with a version two packaging and then come with a version one in here and just have the old four loam Zuckus switcheroo thing from you know back in the seventies and stuff? So yeah, they would have done themselves a huge you know service by putting in the second head, and there's a spot for it right above the head that's in there. Boom, just throw yeah. that throw that right in the package, and you would have. You would have never stopped all the complaining, but there would have been a few people who are like, "All right, I see, you. I get it." So yeah, just uh, the second head on there, because you you would have had people buying two of them then, because you want right. version two. Yeah. And then complaints on Storm Shadow as well. They're like, "Yo." You see original Storm Shadow. You see sleeve, sleeveless right here, and then they use the one that they made, you know, just yeah. a few years ago. Yeah, too many you know? years ago. Yep. I think so that's like also a solid complaint. The laziness, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and and you can tell now that like after this week, you've kind of seen ahead of. What they're, how much work they're putting in on the the uh, classified six inch line. I mean, they're putting in some work and they've kept some secrets and we've been getting tons of new stuff, new reveals, exclusives. We didn't know were coming until 24 hours before AM. Yeah, this, 12, 12 hours. Yeah, right. it was, yeah. It was yeah. pretty if quick. You went, if you went to bed early, you woke up and you were like, hey, you just <laughs> missed happened? that on all You yeah. still woke up. I knew about it and still woke up. <laughs> they were all gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's your uh yeah. you know that series. So uh yeah, everybody got one of these, right? So Mike, you get me a baroness and motorbike, you know I like the motorcycles. God, uh what was the first day she was selling on eBay for like a hundred and fifty dollars or something? Yeah, it's dollars. something like that. Yeah, she looks good too. I mean, she didn't need the bike, but it's fine. Like, if they want to start putting out vehicles with them, I'm cool. I'm good with that. I wish it was a trouble bubble first, but whatever. That's just me. Beachhead. Now, I, I didn't expect to get him till later. I, right. I was thinking maybe they'll get to Beachhead maybe, you know, next year. That was a surprise. I mean, a welcome surprise. Oh, yeah. I, I believe that I named Beachhead when we did our GI Joe thing is a what, yeah, what was top. It? yeah top tier top guy yeah oh yeah was it tier one that we called it or yeah yeah he's definitely up there and yeah I'm just gonna get three of these I'd like to say I'm only gonna get three but man. Uh, over the course of time, hopefully sure. it'll become readily available. Yeah, I hope so. So I, can, so I can get a few more. And I take it that this is like a little slip that can slip on his arm so he can be like yeah. a commander or something. A leader, squad leader, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know about this road roadblock. Uh, because I got the other one. I like the other one on pre order. I don't, I don't remember this one here. I like the head on this. Like I, I didn't see this one coming, but I like the I like the beard and I like the glasses and the little headset or whatever. I do like it. Anyways, none of us got them, so yeah. I bet nobody in the chat got them either. So, but what Mike, is it? Mike should August be at the store 15th. waiting right now. August fourteenth. Yeah, it's the street date is. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna be up there. Yeah, this looks awesome. This yeah. is a Hasbro Pulse, a deluxe figure. Look at that, man. Yep, yeah. I think this one looks extremely good. I love the cape. Jesus, these yeah. I hadn't even got Wave One. They've already announced four different Cobra they commanders. Got three, <laughs> they got three commanders already. Well, they, they had the Hasbro Pulse, the one that's coming in the regular Wave Two. This one, and then they had that Network one. Yeah, but that was the same as the regular release. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's three of them so far. So three far. Three Give them time. This one should have been the one they just put out. Period. I love this one. Like, I, I like, like the other. I like the dark blue one, but I, this one has that cape. Cool accessories. Mm -hmm. Some more accessories. Right. I do. I do wish. I mean, I know it would cost more, but I do wish they would have just put the throne with him and had it in a bigger set. I mean, the, the diehards would have bought it. I mean, I would have loved that to have the throne too. I didn't see the BotCon 2021 Waspinator action figure. I'll, I'll pull. I think Bobby's doing something with BotCon. I saw that right before the show. Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to pull that up. <clears throat> all right, some NECA Turtles stuff that we all know will be hard to track down, but uh, Android Body Crane. Cool. It looks good. Yeah. yeah. You got your like baby, baby shark right there. And then, dude, an awesome one to do, Mondo Gecko. I'm glad we got him yes. sooner than later, you know? Oh, yeah. Now we need, uh, well, there, there's a bunch of them I want, but dude, that's that's cool. What's this? A little skateboard or... I feel like if you're a Turtles guy, you're also getting like reveals, new figures, and hard to find figures, like what, every few weeks? Yeah. Dude, the, 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 they want us out there like just. Spending gas money, man. Just running all over town for all these <laughs> places. But, uh, cool one here as well. Uh, Muckman, Joe Eyeball. That looks cool. They all look like, pretty good. I like that they're doing the uh, little little guys that go with them too, you know? Yeah. Dude, I need my, my Ray Filet. That, that, looks, that looks good, man. I like the paint on all the little different stuff. It is NECA, so the only you know negative here is it's going to be fragile and you know you got to be yeah. real careful, otherwise it's going to break. Uh, anyone buying the Mutagen Man from Super Seven? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that whole wave, all, all the Super Seven turtles I'm getting. Vern, this was one I was like, really? We're, this doesn't seem like one that I needed right out the gate, but all right. I mean, I'll take it. I'm, it's cool that he comes with uh, the alternate head, you know? Yeah. Vern's cool. I guess to go with April, but like, then, then you're going to give me Janine. Like, I, don't, I didn't really need, I want April, but I didn't really need Vern and Janine before I needed, you know, some other cool ones, you know. There's a, there's uh, Yusaki Ujimbo or however mm -hmm. you say it. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. dude. Like, who, who's who's going to tell me they re rather have a Vern than him? <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> no, nobody. Yeah. Uh, 
This is an awesome one. Rat King. And lucky he comes with all the little rats, too. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, that, that looks nice. And they did a little preview that uh going to be coming out with Foot Soldier 2-packs for the movie stuff. So since it's the movie stuff, that's going to be the Walmart exclusives, which is going to be the hardest to find. So. Yeah. Got to film. I, I, I'm, I'll pick up one of these two packs. Do a total of four foot soldiers, I guess it would be. Yeah. Yeah, and they also get the little, you know, little rack, weapons rack, too. Hmm. And then a teaser. Uh, got what was uh, Orokosaki? So, oh, and a uh, look at their their Baxter as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, so that that'll be another another pickup. Oh yeah, whenever you can find them. <laughs> uh, you're getting some Terminator stuff. Alien. Oh, bloody alien. Okay. Oh, sure. Why not? You know they love to do their alien and predator stuff, man. Yeah. Wow. These look really good. I, mean, I like the, the first alien movie, but not enough to, to get these. I mean, Alien, it's start, the movie, it started off so good. And then mm-hmm. 2 is like, all right, you know, it's it's doable. And then 3, I mean, it just went downhill at 3. and Yeah, what, at the on. beginning of 3, they messed up early on at the beginning. They, you know, they killed um, Hicks and Newt. So it's like, where do you go from here? They just backed themselves <laughs> into a corner. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, I do love the first two Alien movies. Yeah, the first the first one's the best. It it's hard for those to, you know, whenever they keep on making the second part, for it to continue on and be like, especially a trilogy. They even went more than a trilogy. Even to do a trilogy, be like, dude, the entire set was yeah. great. Like you can say that with what Back to the Future. Yeah, to the future is great. Yeah, I mean, I love one and two the most. Third's probably my least favorite, but still, it's yeah. good that you know it's all yeah. goes together. Uh, you can't say it with RoboCop. One's the best. Two, yeah. I still thought two was uh pretty good. Three, absolutely terrible. You know, like they they just fall off. They try to do too much. You know, right. Yeah. The first one was a horror movie, which was I liked. I enjoyed that, and then the second one was like one of the best action movies of all time with James Cameron, like classic Like if it wasn't for Ripley in that role, you know, we probably wouldn't have got a lot of other stuff after that. Uh, and then, I mean, let's see uh, this uh, teaser. Some people were saying uh, the boys, Amazon's the boys TV series, mm. probably because it's not going to be Superman. And then uh, let's see what what's another trilogy that fell short. Uh, well, it's not even trilogy. They made more of them, but Terminator, first the one, major, yeah. great. First one, second one, second one, great. And then yeah. at third, and then just go, kept on going downhill. Yeah, The Matrix. Yeah, that yeah. One's about to happen again, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. All right, uh, here's where we, we a lot of these are just like one figure on each tab. But uh, Ghostface. Ghostface. Yeah, NECA doing Ghostface. I might pick that up. 
I like it too. I, yeah. I gotta say, I, I want to say of it. no, but it looks yeah. cool. Yeah. The cave with a Drew Barrymore with her intestines hanging out. That would be cool. I know you like the blood. <laughs> <laughs> like with the, with the popcorn, with the Jiffy Pop, wouldn't that be cool? A little cell phone, a little one of those large uh, home cell phones or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? The old ones. Yeah. <laughs> Zach Moore cell phones? Yes. Yeah, the big block. Yeah. Yes. Hello? <laughs> 1990, whatever it was, five or six. Big old antenna. You need a briefcase to carry that sucker around, man. Uh, and then some uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, I guess that this is like part the new, seven. new blood, yeah. Yep. I do like my Friday the 13th. <clears throat> that was always my favorite design. This is part seven. You could see like his rib cage and stuff. I thought that was cool. I'm not a big fan of this series. I know the only one that I've seen is Jason X. But he's in space. The wor- the wor- well, the second, the second worst one. Yeah. Number eight, number eight is the worst one. That's the Manhattan. Jason takes off, Manhattan. Off my knowledge, I'm going to say that Friday the 13th is a very good series. <laughs> Uh, you get in a Back to the Future, Doc Brown. I like that face, that other face. Yeah, really Scott, yeah. Apparently, yeah. this is the one where uh, he, whenever the the car runs off, the little model uh, car runs off the track, yeah. and runs yeah. into the thing, and it catches on fire. Yeah, this is the face they were captured. <laughs> Great Scott! Yeah. <laughs> The the funniest part in uh part two, uh to me, is whenever it's showing the end of part one where he sends them and he goes back to the future and he's celebrating dancing in the street oh, yeah. through those yeah. flames and he just sister turns around and then the new Marty comes from he goes, ah! right. <laughs> he's like, yeah. I just sent you back to the future. He's like, I know, but I'm back. <laughs> it just falls down his face. Man. I thought that was hilarious, man. Uh, all right, you get another gremlin. All right, school gremlin. Uh, school gremlin. All right. And then, well, the that's all I was gonna show on these. The rest is like weird stuff. Uh, quarter inch, or not? Not quarter inch. Uh, quarter scale. You're getting the giant size tune turtles. Whoa! So you got the movie quarter scale, and now you're getting the tune quarter scale. Jeez. Yeah. They they just want to take up a bunch of room, man. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They got they got nineties kids wallets. Just direct deposit. Uh. Here's your only Power Ranger news. Dracon. I'm assuming that'll be up on that September list as well. And all these little pictures are small. This is like the biggest Jeez. picture of it. So. Yeah. It's like his uh, final phase suit. The most powerful Dracon. Uh, this was a... I'm not really covering a whole bunch of exclusives, but this was a Super 7 exclusive. The Glow in the Dark. Man, I, I passed on it. Like, no, yeah. I'm, getting the, I'm getting the regular one. I don't need one that glows in the dark, so... I'm cherry-picking, so I, I looked at it, though. It was pretty cool. I'm not yeah. kidding. I like I, that it glows blue. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole of, like, dude, i got to get all the variants, and yeah, I'm going to be 100% complete. Yeah. It's like, yo, I I'm think I'm, I might be getting out of that business, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh... And Ghostbusters got a little Ghostbusters love, uh, so yeah. Get a Rick Moranis. I forget what his character's name is. And then get Lewis a- Tully. Yeah. Oh I, oh, I guess it says it right there. Yeah. Okay, I brought the dog. Yeah. Oh, he's got a hat. He's got the hat too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, McFarlane got some. Uh, I guess Wave Two Cyberpunk. Video game figures. So another Keanu Reeves. Has anyone played a Ghost of Tsushima yet? Mm-hmm. 
I want, I, want, I want to get that game, but I don't know if I want to buy it now for PS4 or just wait until it comes out on PS5 version because... I went ahead. I still haven't finished The Last of Us 2. <laughs> I actually went back and played the remastered first one and finished that in like two days. Like the first one's really easy after you played through the other one. And I didn't know that they had a new chapter on that game, on the remastered one either. They're like, oh, so origin. She, yeah. Was she, when she's in the mall for the girl. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even know that existed until like the other week I went and played through it. And I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's yeah. That, uh, that's been out. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> yeah, I never played the remastered. They made it look a little bit better than the old one I had. But yeah, now I feel like I've played it all, you know, close together. So, all yeah, right, I'm buying all these, every single one. I saw this guy today at Target. Yeah, the Batman who laughs. Yeah, I saw him. There was uh, the ones that. Those I think it was a Nightwing, but uh, yeah, it was just mainly him. They had him, but uh, I'm gonna get that Doomsday. I thought that Doomsday would be bigger, to be honest. I was gonna mm-hmm. put one with my DC icons, is what I was gonna do, yeah, because I'm he, not um, this line. I, I watched an interview with him yesterday, and they said that um, they set the rules for the box size. The, and how, and he has to fit everything inside that box unless it's a build a figure. Oh, jeez. Okay. Which they are going to do. Yeah. And then uh, get, got some more here. And then here's one that's got wings on them. Yeah, they're going to take my money. Most of this stuff has been in the comic during the last year and a half, it, it, yeah, about a year and a half. In fact, uh, this is all part of that metal storyline, but now they're doing a sequel to that called uh, Death Metal. The first two issues are out of that. So he's doing a lot of more. Uh, you know how he was kind of, it seemed like that first wave, he was all over the place? Yeah. Yeah, he's not now. Like, he's he's going into the stuff where the, the DC comics were selling, and it's dark. It's very McFarlane. Like it's, I think this is a smart move because DC did some dark stuff very dark stuff finally and he's jumped right in it seems like a perfect fit yeah so i i want to see what that doomsday what size he is and since these are seven inch then he'll probably still be pretty tall you know to go with my because the icons what are they like a little more like five inches yeah, yeah i think he should fit with them pretty well they'll probably do an animated series of this stuff it's been popular enough so they'll probably yeah. do like like a pg-13 version of of this stuff so people will probably backtrack to get some of them later you know when the animated version comes right. out do <clears throat> the pick up the death stroke i love death stroke uh, oh the arc yeah game. yeah, Arkham, yeah. yeah. That was Deathstroke was awesome in that game. I love I that to, fight with the fight with him. I need to I need to see him in store, and then I I'll probably make my decision then on you know, but get the Arkham Batman and Deathstroke there. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. that red hood looks nice. Yeah, dude, it does. Cool. Dude, I'm looking yeah. at the shiny head, and like it looks like like he's gonna have both guns too. They go in the holster and in the hand. So we nice. Don't worry about that. Finally, unlike yeah. Mattel, mulls them in there. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I forget what gets red costume Nightwing. He's part of the 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 evil Batman squad from the other universe that's come in all those bad guys that you saw they're like other versions of you know the batman and bruce wayne and they've all come into our continuity the dc universe is a mess right now because there's a hole so all the other universes are slipping in well and that's looked, that's actually very awesome looking yeah, yeah they're they're really cool designs like i said everything is kind of dark and twisted so it's rejuvenated a lot of the DC stuff, I think. And that's Barry Allen. Like, that's just the newest version of him. Uh, God, man. I saw some people were excited for this. I'm like, yo, he doesn't need to be. He needs to lay, lay off the animated stuff, man. Yeah, I'm glad that he's going mostly comic. So this other stuff is kind of, I can easily pass. 
the other animated stuff looks it looks bad and this this looks pretty bad too it's like if you if you want animated cyborg yo just just wait until dc collectibles does it they'll probably get around to where they'll do like some type of teen titan you know, a little titan or, stuff yeah. yeah but they did a nice version of robin and tara and slade i'd probably buy those three but oh i saw i saw an asriel today as well I got the DC Universe one. The um, yeah, I got that one today. The McFarlane, yeah, yeah. And that's the um, the Batman from Flashpoint. Flashpoint. It's Thomas Wayne, who is in the animated Flashpoint. If you watch that one, yeah, they have a. Uh, he hasn't gone up for pre order, but they announced it last San Diego Comic Con that they were doing a Thomas Wayne for animated series. Uh, the really? DC collectible, yeah. So I, I remember uh, seeing it, or or uh, I think they listed it. They didn't have it shown, maybe, and they yeah. were just like, "Here's like two figures that w- we're gonna have," and one of them was Thomas Wayne. So I've gotten that written down that I need to, you know, still I need to pre-order it and stuff, but uh, still, yeah, we haven't seen it yet. Uh, here's a new McFarlane line. Uh, McFarlane finished my Borderlands figures, and before you go on, <laughs> something else. Uh, raw tin. Yep. This looks like something. Uh, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, but but big figures. Dakota and Dalton might be into. Now, the only one here that I could think might interest us is the snake. If you wanted to put it in on display or something yep. like in behind your cobras or yep. something. Yeah, I've seen multiple people already say I'm getting that for that very reason. I might get the Cygore just to put with my spawn stuff, like a new Cygore. So, yeah, I was looking, I was like, so, you know, it's just in this one pose, but I'm like, uh, no, it, the tail bends and stuff. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I like that a lot. And it definitely looks like something from Cobra GI Joe. Yeah, we'll and it's a snake. it's a red snake. You got to think that he was at least thinking about that, you know, GI Joe classified series coming out, and mm-hmm. you know, like what what color should I make the Cobra? Oh, let's make it red. I think someone even has a picture of it next to a uh, Cobra Commander. Yeah. The tail is rubber, no bendy wire. Hmm. Uh, I just, I, I just see Winston whenever I see this girl uh, from Overwatch. I watched his little presentation about how these kind of fit in with other stuff, and it's just trying to make something big that maybe kids would pick up for twenty bucks. Not a lot of articulation, a, a little bit of paint, but giant. Yeah, he's gonna have nine ninety nine offerings too. So you got a little bit of everything. So yeah, here here it is. You you can see that you got this back there, and you got your all your cobras lined up. Right. <laughs> so, uh, Mafex. This is a a six inch, but you know, you already got the DC collectibles one, but. I guess if you want yeah. a Mafex version, then there you go. They're a little behind. Yeah, I mean, there'll be obviously better articulation, but uh, what's the price? Probably, I would imagine, three times the price. Some nice heads, too. Uh, if, they went, if I knew how deep they were going, like if they had come out and they said, I would be worried. If I, if $82. I, yeah. Gosh, yeah. The, yo, like if they crazy. came out and they said, "Look, we're doing everybody in the entire line. We don't care how well the first one does," then I would be worried. I'd be like, "Okay," but I do like the ones I have. 
I think the articulation for your Marvel Legends Wolverines is just fine because they yeah. even have those uh, shoulders, you know, that they rock in and out. Butterflies, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do like that grin though. Yeah, I like that the newest brown costume Wolverine. I like the Wolverines that Marvel Legends been putting out the last three years. They're good. I mean, they're really good. Yeah, I actually think that they're better than this looks. All right, and just a couple of pictures of the Mezco uh, 112 uh, Bishop. Yeah, I like that you get both versions. What's up, Christopher? Yeah, so. Hey. Yeah. Uh, here you go, sport. Uh, I don't know. Kid, I don't know anything about these. wrestling. So I know all this stuff. So this is um, uh, the Fiend or Bray Wyatt, and he's done up as Trap Jaw. He's I got like the little that. book on his hair. I really dig that. Um, yeah. This this went up on Walmart.com secretly. I never saw anything about it, and I, we just happened to be looking at the site, looking oh. at this stuff for him yeah. for my kid. And we wow. haven't told him, but I pre-ordered. I got uh, two of them yeah. pre-order for fourteen ninety-seven. I, I don't think I'll ever see him in the store. Like this, Jake the Snake as uh, King Hiss. I don't yeah. think I'll ever see that in the store. That is um, so. Cool. At least locally yeah. here, you know, I'm in Virginia, so wrestling is huge here. Um, and He Man evidently must be too. So we never see these on the shelf. Right. I've never seen. No, I take that back. The first wave I saw on the shelf. After that, and they're on wave three now. Never seen one on the shelf here. I, I see them once in a while. They sell quick. They really do. Mr. T's doing cool. well. Mr. T's I awesome. I haven't seen a GI Joe or a Masters of the Universe figure in any store so far. Yeah, same here. I like that Jitsu Mr. T is pretty cool. Jitsu and Fisto. He's got both of them. Yeah, he's got yeah. both of them. Yeah, yeah. He does, it looks really cool. Seth Rollins. Yeah, I, I gotta get this wave. Looks good. My kid, I've never seen a kid like wrestling. I liked wrestling when I was little, but not like my kid likes wrestling. Like, if somebody told me like he would be a rest, like end up being a wrestler, I would not be surprised. He's really into it. I'm not big on wrestling, but I just, I just like the way they did these. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can take them apart and mix yeah. them and match them with exactly. your Motu figures origins when it comes out or when exactly they just go together so well. And then yeah. you got these. Becky Lynch, Macho Man is going to be the yeah. first member of, I guess, the New Horde Order instead of New World Order. Yeah. And Ricky the Dragon <laughs> Steamboat is the you know blaster, the Skeletor bl Dragon Blaster. Mm -hmm. Oh, Everybody. look at that! Were they Roddy, Roddy Piper? Yeah, got the real damage parts. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty cool. And uh, Becky Lynch is Tila. Uh, let's see, is it just one? Sure. No, oh, a couple here. Uh, Marvel Selects from Diamond Select. Spectacular Spider-Man. It's the only picture you get of him. Thing, big beefy boy, man. Yeah, little, little, little tiny little head. <laughs> and yeah, oh, that was it from that. And this one, just uh, rampaging Hulk, also Marvel Select. Their their Hulks don't look bad. They've always done no. pretty decent job on their Hulks. Uh, also, Diamond Select. Uh, why are they still coming out with figures for this movie? Isn't this movie like know. old? Like it's been over for a long time? I don't know who's buying this, man. Uh, well, I guess you could say the same thing about The Crow. Yeah. That is not a good version of The Crow. Yeah. So. And a deluxe John Wick. 
So, yeah. I'm sure there's a market for that one. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like the John Wick movies. I used, yeah, I like, again, the, I like the movies. Things, don't, don't need the action figure. Yep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like hey, it's a nice you know little hour and a half of you know good popcorn action flick you know, but after that I'm like yeah I enjoyed that. Do, do I go home and be like God man I wish there was action figures of this to buy. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Storm collectibles, uh, the one twelve scale. Taro, huh? Yeah, it, it, well, uh, Rick, you actually still play uh, Mortal Kombat. Has any of these things ever interested you? I mean, I know they do like a hundred yeah. different variants of like Sub Zero and all this stuff, but yeah, well, I hadn't played Mortal Kombat since the third one, and I bought uh, whatever the eleven, and then I bought the add-on a month or two ago, uh, Aftermath, I guess it was. So I do have I have the Spawn figure because he's in the game. I bought him. And I have um, Scorpion, because Scorpion's always been my favorite. I know it's so cliche. And Sub-Zero. I do have that one, but not from um, – that's from all McFarlane stuff, but not from these guys. But I, I do I do like the game. I pick it – it's a game you can pick up and play. And, you know, you, I'm one of those ones I get good with, like, one character at a time. So it takes me a while. But I've got, like, four characters that I really like to play. Well, I mean, that's how, uh, like, I'm, I'm trying to help my buddy uh, in Overwatch because, man, he, he needs some help. Uh, he, he's a, like, I think he's a bronze player, but, like, I just see him, like, using ability, cooldown abilities and, like, bad positioning and, like, having, you know, just spraying health if he's playing healer. Just, I'm like, man, I want to help you, but there's, like, there's so many things. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, just, I, I just don't, I, I just don't do comp with them. Um, because I even told him, I'm like, dude, the, what, what I did is I, I watched and, you know, some coaching videos and I watched a lot of those and, you know, people explaining the hero to you. And I'm like, get really good at one hero. And then, and, and because, you know, there's tank DPS and, uh, uh, you know, damage and then support. I'm like, I pick, you know, support. Uh, and then I was like, get get really good at one hero. Then in the same support, you know, don't switch to another, you know, another support, get really good at another one and then get really good at another one, you know? And then it's like, all right, now move on to damage. You get really, you know, pick one, get really good at them. And so, or I've, I've got a, I've got a handful of characters that like, you know, play it high plat, low di diamond level. Uh, but then some of them to where, you know, I'm at, at a gold level, but still he's like a, like a way bronze. So it's it's a huge learning curve. <laughs> Cameron, why ask about movie? Uh, getting figures when it's old, when they are still doing alien predator figures. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and gremlins. Yeah. I, I I guess I meant like, is there really a like a huge cult following for Pirates of the Caribbean and like action figures and stuff? I don't know. There's a lot of people that buy Disney property stuff, but I don't know specifically about pirates. I'm not sure. I like the first movie. Uh, yeah. All right. So we are in the, uh, what is it called? Is it the final stretch or yeah. final inning or whatever? Uh, not, not bad for San Diego Comic-Con show. You know, we're going to wrap this up in two hours. Uh, so we're in the one six scale stuff. This is sideshow. Uh, what you think about the Harley Quinn here? It's the second version that they've done. I've got the first version. This one, I think the costume's a little bit better, but I don't like. It's not not enough for me to buy it. Like I'm just not that into their version of the comic book stuff. I got right. their original Joker and Harley, and I'm good with just having those. And I have their Batman, the original. So I wouldn't buy this. There's too many other products out there. She's not the best Harley. I guess that's all. <clears throat> Yeah, she's, a little bit. I think she. I definitely think that portrait looks a little bit better. It's a butterface. I like the smirk. 
Yeah, that that one smile was a little. Yeah, that's a little like too over. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay. And we both like animated more than any other version, and a lot of people like animated more. So it's yeah. hard. It's hard to judge some of the others. Yeah. Now, noise. <laughs> <laughs> I still have not bought. Um, I canceled my Justice League Wonder Woman like back whenever they were coming out, and Flash, and I stuck it out. I got my Tactical Batman from Justice League, and um, Superman. I finally am paying him off this month, so I have those two. I am going to get a Wonder Woman, but I don't know which one because I feel like I think they've got two coming next year, and then they've got what two of them out now? At least two out now, maybe three out now. They've done a bunch of versions. Don't they have a, a like a not well not real hair, but you know like realistic hair instead yeah, of yeah. I think I think the Justice League one might be. I I like the realistic hair one better. Okay, yeah. And I yeah, think they definitely have a lot of choices. More the the other one like this one doesn't seem as spot on to what she actually looks like, like her face. <clears throat> I think the the ones with the wings, which I'm not interested in, but the face sculpt on that is, is pretty nice. Yeah, we 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 got that one showing up here too. Uh, again, I want to see the movie to know what the wings are about. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm looking at the McFarlane one, and I keep on passing by. I'm like, I don't know anything about you, but that looks pretty. Dope. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I don't buy these McFarlane figures. Like, when when's this movie come out anyway? I don't know, man. It's in limbo. Yeah. Now, now, are you getting this? No, this is just a holographic effect, kind of from Mysterio from Spider-Man film. Yeah, so I'll I mean, like... it's, it's cool they're making it. I know there's a market for it, and it looks, it does look extremely awesome. But and I don't need it. Four hundred and twenty dollars <laughs> for something that was uh, what in the movie for a few seconds. A few seconds, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like Rick's Rick's sitting in front of all his hot toy figures <laughs> and being like, Yo, I ain't that into hot toys, man. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta be able to pick and choose at this time at this point. He has his standards, yeah. <laughs> I don't get into zombie iron man. <laughs> you don't want zombie iron man? <laughs> So it's just uh, just an illusion, a dream. I mean, yeah. well, I guess uh, I, I guess you're also paying for you get on, the, but I the mean, base, like, the base is crazy cool. Yeah, but you know, you you get all that with a lot of the other ones. Now, now this Dude. is cool. Yeah, I'm. I already pre-ordered this. Uh, I want to see the Ahsoka first. Uh, that just that's man. This as soon as I saw they were doing like Kenobi and him, I'm like, I, I wonder if you know, I still wonder about the Ahsoka, like what they're how they're going to handle it because everybody knows Rosario Dawson is going to about to be Ahsoka. And they have the license for the Mandalorian. We know that. So is that going to be the first Ahsoka or will they be able to pull it off and do, because this is a realistic interpretation of the Clone right. Wars. So how are they going to handle that? Is that want, what the holdup is? I want realistic interpretation. Yeah. Are you cool if it's the Rosario Dawson older he, version? He, here's the thing is, I I think like she's she's gorgeous, right? But I don't think that like like her face looks like Ahsoka is the only thing. Yeah. Like I think they could have found somebody else where their face, like facial structure, you know, like where cheekbones yeah. are and uh you know, size of what what you know, lips and you know, 
chin and everything yep. they could have found someone that looked more like you know what what we've been seeing for for a long time and that's I, i'm not saying because i'm trying not to get it mixed up i'm not saying that rosario dawson is not attractive in any way and, yeah. and she's a good actress she's versatile right. like, yeah we know that she's can play parts really well i'm just saying like whatever they uh you know, whenever you try to like, okay, here's this is a cartoon character, and like it's never been a live yeah. actor. That you're like, there's tons of actresses or, or you know, actors for you know male roles and stuff out there that you couldn't have just looked through and been like, like within a few hours, been like, dude, here's like 20 people that look facial structure like that. Yeah. Let's bring them all in and let's cast and see if any of them. Uh, you know, or any, any good, you know, cause I, I don't mind having the no names either. You know, I mean, they start somewhere. Yeah. But this cable yeah. looks cool too. The Deadpool two cable. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that, so I had skipped Deadpool as just a corner that I could cut, but I actually really like Brolin as cable. And I like it, the costume. I, lo I love this sculpt that JC Hong put out. Um, so this is a buy. Like I, I went in and just bought this like immediately and I'm going to backtrack to get Deadpool and I got to have that cable. I think the Marvel legend looks good, but then I yeah. saw this and I'm like, gee, this, this sculpt is off the charts. Mm -hmm. And the little special edition thing is that little, uh, digital shield thing that he used a bunch. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. No, I thought no. that was a cool little effect. Like if I was going to buy it, I would, I would not buy it without the shield. I think the shield looks super cool and use, it looks, it's in the movie a whole lot. So yeah, that's a really nice sculpt. I hope they do a light effect or something for his eye. I didn't, I haven't read all the things. I, I just bought it like immediately. I'm like, I want this. All the, that and Anakin, not, that's, that's what I bought. I'll, there, there you go. There's yeah, in his eye. hopefully. Yeah, you see it. Yeah. Uh, unless they're like Prime One Studios, and you know, <laughs> particle <laughs> effects everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get it. You're like, I thought this thing was supposed to have fire and explosion <laughs> all around it. Yeah. Like, just sitting boring uh, on your desk. Uh, here's an Iron Man. A, a new version of this. It's got some new stuff new paint it's you know this was one of the first iron man figures i bought like i think i had number three and this has been years ago you know they've been making them a long time and i think this one was the second one that i bought so i'm not i don't need a new an updated one sport i'm just gonna go ahead and say that it's twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> I know you want too bad, so I'm just gonna say, yeah. Oh you, yeah. You can just be quiet, and uh, yeah. you, just, you just automatically. I'm just gonna put twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you get the little lights and stuff. Try to be good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go, hey, go ahead. Go ahead and put twenty dollars of mics in the pot too. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even here. Uh, here's some uh, hot toys so from, from video game stuff. Yeah. And, you know, some of the stuff we saw earlier. Yeah. And a Stan Lee. Just random one out there. Mm -hmm. Excelsior. <clears throat> Be nice if we could see this movie. Just release it, Disney. Yeah, oh, not out. I haven't been to the movie theater in a while. <laughs> right, exactly. I have no <laughs> idea what's out or when stuff's coming out. Like, <laughs> it's all closed here. I don't know about everywhere else. What's a movie theater? Yeah. I know <laughs> they're sweating bullets. That's what they're doing right now. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think Disney's going to sit on that Black Widow movie for a whole year. I don't see that. I don't see that happening. But a lot of these theaters aren't opening back up. They nobody's but her, they're the Black Widow toys. They even went on sale at uh, yeah. Target like they're a while back because there's no movie to support it. So I'm like, no yeah. one's buying them. 
Because they're, because they're movie figures, you know. Like if they were yeah. like regular comic and uh, you know, yeah. type figures, you know, people people would buy them up, you know, exactly. like 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 this, you know. Yeah. But because they're movie figures, there's no movie. It's like I don't even know what this is. <laughs> so yeah, Hot Toys doing the Luke Snow Speeder version. That's cool. Yeah. And that Annie looks nice. Yep. I like that outfit, those colors too. Yep. Yeah, that's really cool. I didn't. I'm glad they're doing the Clone Wars stuff. Oh, Although it's a deep, deep, it's going to be a deep hole for sure. This is, this is the one Dakota's getting, right? Did he order that? Yeah, he, he pre-ordered it. Yeah, like, like legit <laughs> pre-ordered it. Dakota has wow. this thing on pre-order. <laughs> Wow. His first Hot Toys figure is a life-size scale of the child. I love it. That's, that's great. <laughs> <clears throat> that's All right. Funny. And uh, three zero. King Ezekiel. Glad I didn't get into all that. Uh, have, have they released the f- f- episode for no. the season finale yet? Like, no, it's, it's we're just October. waiting on on one episode we're waiting yep. on? It's October. I heard it yesterday. Jeez, I, I don't even know what the heck is going on. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need them to do a long recap. Yeah, previously on Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, we're going to sum up the uh, first, uh, whatever it is, 15 episodes here what, for 30 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, because I'm not I, – I, that usually happens when a new season comes out. Like, they just start doing something. I'm like, man, I can't even remember what, what's going on. And – Woof. Uh, Woof. Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. <laughs> Asmus Toys. The shirt and the hair, I get it. That face sculpt, man. Is it just me or is that not great? Is it the same facial expression the entire time? Wow. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look great. Yeah. Who's asking for that figure? Wow. Uh, not, not me. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, let's, let's see if there was a... Uh, Anything left? Nope. Nope on that. Nope. All right. All right. So we did it. And, dude, San Diego Comic Con, two hours. Usually, it's it's, it's two Two days. Two days. Four hours. (laughs) Usually, we spend seven hours on this thing. So. I told you that we'd start getting them shorter, boys. I told nice. you. <laughs> Equipment. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, sign out then. Tell people where they can find you. You can find me here on YouTube at Sportimus and on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at Sportimus Prime. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Shattered Glass Jazz. And you can find me, G1 Extron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, The G1 Extron. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks. Uh, so next, not this Saturday, coming Saturday, but the one following uh, at Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And that's when we're going to have more people on, and we're going to talk about uh, the pre-order experience and <laughs> shopping on all these different websites and what it's like and uh, scalpers and the whole nine yards. We're going to talk about it all. So uh, talk to you guys then. Have a good one. Peace.